This is Poncho Herrera, and here are some tips on how to shift when mountain biking. All right, here's an example of a 27-speed mountain bike. That's a lot of gears, but they're actually pretty easy to digest. Your left hand controls the three ranges in the front, or the three chain rings, and your right hand controls the nine speeds in the back. You use them together, um, and you want to use them in such a way to keep a, a comfortable, easy pedaling cadence. For rolling terrain or relatively flat terrain, let's try the middle ring. That's the center position on your uh, shifter there, and it's going to be the middle range. Think of it, if you're driving a Jeep, it's the, the middle range on the, on the gearbox there. From that middle position in the front, you have full access to all nine gears in the back. If you want to make an easier uh, pedaling cadence, you want to climb a small hill, push your thumb button on your right hand, and you'll see the derailleur will move up, move the chain up into the biggest cog. That's a lower gear. You can always mix and match that, that rear uh, shifter or right hand shifter to get a good comfortable pedaling cadence. Rolling over the top of the hill and descending, back down into higher gears, that would be the small gear here. That's your fastest speed, hardest pedaling uh, cadence. As your speed increases on a bigger downhill, that's when we employ the big chain ring in the front. Push the thumb button on the left hand, brings us up into that big gear, and now again, we have full control of the rear to fine tune that pedaling cadence, make sure it's comfortable for you, you're not mashing your knees, but you're not spinning out. That's the range you're comfortably looking for. For most people, that's between, let's say, 90 and 100 RPMs. Uh, if you're going downhill fast, it might be a little bit lower, let's say 70 RPMs, or pedaling cadence. Now, finally, uh, you have a low range, and that's for the steepest of climbs. You want to use that uh, when the bike gets pointed uphill. Now, it's a good idea to make these shifting changes before they're needed. In other words, anticipate your gear shift changes. One thing that a multi-speed mountain bike like this doesn't like is a condition called a cross gear. Let's try to avoid that whenever possible. Picture, if you look from the top of the bike, you don't want that chain in a crossing condition. In other words, the inside gear at the back and the outside gear at the front like that. Here's another important, uh, important uh, guideline when you're shifting. You need to be pedaling when it occurs. Of course, nothing will happen if you push buttons while the chain isn't moving. So, you're pedaling as you shift, but let's ease the burden on that drivetrain by lightening our, sh our loads while we're shifting. So in other words, if you see a big hill coming, you know you need that low gear, pedal gently as you make your shift, but keep pedaling.